Namdhapa National Park is a 2000 square kilometer large protected area in Arunachal Pradesh of Northeast India. With more than 1000 floral and about 1400 faunal species, it is a biodiversity hotspot in the eastern Himalayan with its mind-blowing landscapes of Dafa Boom Range and Noah Dihing River. A forest so rich in diversity that every inch is teeming with life that you can come across at any moment, while crossing streams on rocky foot bridges, jumping over large trees trunk which block the road, or while ascending or descending the gentle climb that dot the path, such is the allure of Namdhapa. In this travel blog, let's see the beauty of nature through the eye of my lenses. We have started our epic journey from Kolkata airport and reached Debrugar after 1.5 hours. Mr. Singfo has already managed a pickup cab for us and without any delay we have taken that cab and proceed towards Miao with Mr. Ajaruddin the cab driver. It took around 3 hours to reach Miao via Tinshukia and Kharsang. The road conditions were pretty good up to Kharsang, but uh, in Arunachal, the road conditions are not good as compared to Assam. Miao is the base point from where Namdhapa trek generally begins and the nearest rail and flight communications are Dibrugar, a small town in eastern Assam. This Namdhapa trek or tour is actually divided into two parts. Number one, you can simply go for budding and for this you need not to go for trek. It will be a kind of leisure trip. It will take around 4 night 5 days including stay at Miao and Devan Efarij. You can find many butterflies and birds from Miao and Devan including mind-blowing views of Dafa Boom Range. But you will not be able to see the beauty of Namdafa forest completely. The second one that you can get everything 
from birding to trekking experience. If you are physically fit enough, then opt for this option. But if you are not, then opt for birding only. Don't worry, Mr. Singfo is a very nice person. He would guide you accordingly. And if you need more details regarding this, then ask me in comment section. We have reached Miao at 12 noon. This Namdapa jungle camp was developed by Mr. Singfu. The rooms are good quality homestays with all modern facilities and 24 hour power backup system. I have made a separate review video on this, so if you wish, you can check it with the description link below. Remember that this is the only option for staying in Miao. We got our shower and delicious lunch was served by him, which includes chicken curry, mutter paneer, aloo beans, roti, rice and dal and the taste of the food was awesome. After lunch we came out from the resort and roam around to see several birds and butterflies. This jungle camp was located just beside of Noa Dihing river, one of the most beautiful river in this region. We have spent some priceless time there and obviously I flew my drone and now see the aerial beauty of this place. We have seen some mind-blowing sunset from here and that was the end of our first day trip as our trek would start from next day onwards. We got up early in the morning to see sunrise, but uh, it was a bit cloudy. No matter, we took our breakfast with Puri Sabji and got ready ourselves for the trek. Meanwhile, Mr. Singh arrived and uh, introduced himself. He was really a very good person by nature and he arranged everything very carefully to provide best quality service. Mr. Indudip forest guard and trek leader for us for this entire trek also came and introduced himself. We have started our journey to Devan Efarich, the start point of this trek at around 8 am sharp. Mr. Singfo was so humble that he took his own car and drove us to Efarich. From Miao, it took 1.5 hours to reach Devan Efarich.
I think Namdapa Rain Forest is the most neglected forest in Arunachal Pradesh due to some political interference. Forest staffs were very reluctant, but on the other hand, Mr. Singh Fu have tried very hard to develop the ecotourism in this place by doing some benevolent work. After some time, we reached forest check post and uh, completed our all paperwork and we moved towards uh, Deban. Professional steel camera charges uh, was 500 rupees per day, video camera 1000 rupees per day and digital camera 100 per day. Also entry fee 100 per day and guide charge 800 per day. These costs were excluded of this package. After entering through the gate, you felt a Jurassic Park kind of effect because of very high vegetation. The view of Noah Dehing from the top was sometimes breathtaking. After half an hour, we reached Deban Forest House. I made a separate video on Devan FRH with room reviews as the cost of the room was 500 rupees per day as only accommodation basis. The quality of the room was so-so, rather don't expect any luxury amenities here as it was located deep into the forest. If you wish, you can find the room reviews in the link description below. This is Devan Forest Rest House area which has uh, one FRH building, another newly made visitors building, one canteen and other staff quarters. The surrounding areas are very nice, very clean, calm and uh, if anybody can sit over here then they can easily find out several species of birds and butterflies. Our porters are now waiting for our green signal. This front side building is newly made which has four double bedded room and this large structure is actually the main Devan FRH which has three ground floor rooms for visitors and three G plus one rooms for VVIPs. We are just now waiting for our trek leader to come and uh, begin our trek. After all good wishes, our epic trek journey began. The beauty of this trek was that it has started with a breathtaking views of Noah Dehing River. You walk down the hill to river bed and cross that river in a small boat. This place was like a canvas and you got so refreshed by seeing that river that no one could imagine at all. The color of the sky, river, pebbles and grasslands were just mind blowing. Thank you. This opposite end was Devan, which itself a very nice place. If you stay here for a while, you could see many birds also.
the problem of this trek that you got stopped at many places because of its natural beauty and got to be late for your entire journey. Capturing all moments were not possible what you saw in your own eyes. After crossing river bed you had to climb a ladder made by locals to enter into jungle area. From here you could only hear some sounds of river but now it mixed with the sounds of birds. The density of this forest was very high and the entire path was covered with thousands of small and big trees. Here you could see many birds but capturing all was a kind of huge task. On the way to Hornbill that you could see some kinds of degraded uh, plants and that kinds of roadblocks and you have to cross that blocks very carefully. Mm. Hmm. Hmm, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Hmm. 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 We continued our journey towards our first camp, Hornbill Camp. The distance from Devon to Hornbill was 12 km and it would take around 5 to 6 hours of trekking. The terrain was not so difficult till Haldibari where we stopped for lunch. It was a kind of easy ascent and descent. Haldibari was named because of Haldi that found on the soil of this area which was harvested by locals many many years ago. Here forest department made a small shelter kind of thing where you could take some rest. Many visitors trekked up to this and returned back to Devan. But we continued our journey towards Hornbill camp though after Haldibari stoppage there was a very high ascent for one hour. So please take some rest before leaving this place. After 6 hours of trekking at around 3 pm we reached Hornbill campsite. As sun went down very early in this area in winter you had to settle your camp and campfire very fast before dark. So after camping, we went inside of our camp, we took early dinner as we were very tired and we went for sleep early and in this way our first day of trek ends. We woke up early in the morning and after breakfast we started our second day of trek. This hornbill camp was named so because chances of seeing hornbills were very high in this region. But unfortunately we didn't get any of this so we have started early to judge our luck.
so repeatedly we saw trees to see any of this but luckily we got another gem of this forest which was only found here in India Hulog Gibbon a non-tailed apes and almost same time we found hornbills also this amazing sounds of wings they made when they flew And now we came to a place called Barnala where we took our lunch in a tribe manner in tupla leaves with chow mein. The terrain from hornbill to farm base was tough with very high ascent and steep descent. After six hours of trekking, we reached our second camp called Farm Base, which was located at the foothills of Namdhapa Forest. The distance from Hornville Camp to Farm Base Camp was 12 km. At 4.40 pm, sun was set and entire campsite was in complete darkness. And now we sat around the fire and shared our today's experience. Meanwhile, at 8.30 pm, Sanjay and Vishwajit both prepared beautiful dinner for us such as rice, roti, dal, aloo paneer, aloo gobi and beans chutney. Chutney? Oh, beans? Ka? Beans. Very good. Chutney is good. Chutney is good. Chutney is आलू गोभी बन रहा है आलू गोभी तो तो वीडियो में तुम्हारा नाम बताओ बताओ तुम्हारा पूरा नाम बताओ मेरा नाम विश्वजीत दे है विश्वजीत दे है आप मियोंग से आप बताओ आपका नाम क्या है मेरा नाम संजय सिंह है हम भी मियोंग का है बहुत बढ़िया ये दोनों हम लोग को खिला के पिला के अभी जिंदा रखा है बहुत बढ़िया The morning was fantastic with misty sun and songs of innumerable birds and definitely I flew my drone to capture the aerial view of this farm base.
here morning started at 6 am with bright sunlight at and uh, at 7 30 am sanjay served us with uh, hot ginger tea with oreo biscuits so today we needed to trek four hours for six to seven kilometers that mostly on namthapa and noah dihing river bed and after completion of our breakfast we have started our journey at around 10 30 am Initially, we entered a brick 3 km stretched grassland of Namdapa river bed with a height of 12 feet grasses. Though the train was uh, kind of simple with no ascent or descent, but it was a kind of tough challenge considering work on pebbles which were somewhere hard or somewhere loose. So you had to be very careful because of ankle twisting was a very common phenomenon here. During our journey we had to cross different small streams, but the view of this trek was amazing, unbelievable. And you could see a big grassland, Dafabu mountain river everything in that single frame which was a kind of reverse of this trip. We have taken our lunch break here at around 1 pm and took some rest as walk to rocky bed was kind of more tiring than climbing mountain. You could feel huge pain in your toes because of that uneven hard surfaces. During this journey, you had to cross 13 bamboo bridges till Balugar. And at around 3.30 pm, we reached Mbiong campsite for our night halt. It was very very cold at night, so we triggered campfire very fast and got relieved. <laughs> Mbiong was a kind of place that every photographer wanted to visit once in a life. So I did the same and flew my drone. Now see that awesome beauty that I have seen through my drone. Today we have started our journey a little late to Balugat 
as the distance was less than 4 hours so after enjoying the morning we have started our trekking again now you have to cross bamboo bridges again though these bamboo bridges looked very nice but it was very very risky and dangerous for trekkers like us as these bridges were almost 70 feet long and slippery that made up of single or double bamboo The terrain was simple with a rocky walk and we reached Balughat at around 1 pm. We had our dinner together that night as it was our last night in forest. Me and my brother felt sad as our journey came to an end this night. So, we slept early and hope for a new amazing morning on the next day. <coughs> Baluhat was the last camping location which gave you best shot among others. Because of some morning clouds, the aerial view of that place was awesome. So I flew my drone and captured some amazing moments. In the morning, we had our breakfast all together. In city life, we really missed that simplicity. In fact, without knowing each other, we became good friends. They were so simple that no one could imagine. We helped each other, shared our experiences with each other, and literally, we forgot our mobile ringtones. So, we continued our journey towards Devan. Our pickup point, as Mr. Singh has already sent a pickup car for us, we took that cab and returned to Miao with an unforgettable experience. आप WhatsApp में हाई जरूर भेजिएगा। WhatsApp में हाई भी जरूर। वरना मैं हेलो नहीं कर पाऊँगा। The living Namdapa after four days.